What's doing? And welcome to an episode of ProCheck, and today we've got some more N80 stuff because I know you guys really love it. So we'll uh, do some upgrades to the N80. <music> Yes, that's right, so we've got a stereo upgrade, a head unit upgrade. Uh, I don't know what you're gonna call it, but let's just get into the car and see what we've got. All right, so we're sitting in the car. I have a stereo upgrade uh, to do today. Uh, I've already done a head unit upgrade in one of my other mate's cars. Uh, we did a complete panel replacement, uh, but today we have a little dongle that plugs in and gives us Apple CarPlay wireless and also gives us YouTube and Netflix. So let's uh, have a look and get stuck into it. All right, so if you have an N80, uh, one, two, or three, they're all the same. Uh, pretty much anyway, the head units are a little bit different, but they're all pretty much the same. Uh, you know what these look like. So basically you can press map and we'll get the map. You can press your audio, you go across the audio and you can press your home uh, and you've got a bit of both there. Uh, obviously you've got your phone button as well, but uh, you know how that all works. So what we're gonna do is change all this a little bit. So we can go to audio and we press audio again and it brings up our sources here. And you don't have to go in through to this way to turn this thing on, but let's have a look. I'll plug it in, I'll show you what it does, and I'll show you what it is. All right, that's all plugged in. It's going to load up itself here in a second. Now this, once this loads up, of course, you're not gonna drive while this is running <coughs> and uh, watching videos while you're driving, of course. Uh, but let's go agree and accept. Go press the button right, and we're in. So now we have YouTube, we have Netflix, we've got Bluetooth, and we can go to the main screen as well. I'll show you what our other options are here as well. Uh, wireless CarPlay, Android Auto, uh, phone, Bluetooth music, all your other bits and bobs, Google and all that sort of stuff. Google Play, you can add in any app you want to do. I've added in the Polaris navigation, so you can have the Polaris nav uh, set up for all your four-wheel driving maps. Uh, but we can just obviously click on maps, current position, and obviously you can load in all your stuff of where you are. Just thinking about it. It's just obviously getting its GPS location. Uh, but that'll all load up, so you've got all your navigation stuff there as well um, with all your maps and bits and bobs. But we can press this, we can go back to our main screen, go back again to our main screen. And we can have YouTube, uh, we can have Netflix, so you can click on YouTube here. It's just connected to, well it's not connected to anything, we better connect it to my internet because you need a Wi-Fi to connect. So you can either connect this through to your phone or you can connect it through to your house if you're sitting at home watching anything. So let's just go back out of here so I can show you what you need to do. We need to go into our settings. Oh, missed him there. Go into our settings, click on Wi-Fi, turn him on. So it won't search for Wi-Fi on its own unless you turn it on all the time. I'm connecting to my Wi-Fi here at work. We can click back on our fast menu option here to go back into YouTube. YouTube will load up. There we go. Um, we can search through where you want to search for. Let's just go in here. Let's click on obviously have a watch of ourselves here. We'll just watch our latest video here. Skip through. But there we go. We so that's all. Bit of a how to diagnose what's going on. That's all adjustable. But you're being all touch screen, you can tell it what you want to do. We want to. Oh, you can also drop this down, like a, as per your normal thing. Go back to your normal screen. You can close it, stop it, search again as you per normal. You click a little dot here, and we can go back. Click on here, go to dot, go back. We can go back to our main screen. 
and the obviously the other thing you guys want, as, as I did, is the wireless CarPlay. Uh, that's in here, so we click on the wireless CarPlay, click connect to device. It's already been linked to my phone before. If it hasn't before, you'll have to set it up, but it's pretty basic. Click that. I'll need to turn Bluetooth on, so please hold. So once you click your Bluetooth on, you can connect. Now we're connected. It'll bring you up with your Google Maps and all your phone screen. You can have your Spotify on there if you want to watch any Spotify, play any Spotify. Uh, you can make any phone calls you want to make, uh, as well as go back through your Google Maps. You can press back on here to go back to your main menu, and there's all obviously calendar. Uh, and anything else you need to have in here. But you can also click on back here and you have everything that's live on your screen, you can flick through to as well. Uh, say for instance, you wanna go back to normal radio, we can listen to our CarPlay obviously through Spotify, but licensing, I don't wanna do that. Uh, we can go back and we get audio and we can go back to source and we can go back to. My Bluetooth kicked in going back to the normal head unit. Uh, so you can click your source button, go back to your normal radio and watch all your normal radio, and obviously you'll do your normal back things as well, back to normal map, normal head unit sort of operation. So I've turned my Bluetooth back off so I can uh, talk you through this sides of things, but obviously you can go to Netflix if you want to watch Netflix, uh, and that'll bring up your account. You just have to sign in obviously for the first time if you haven't signed in before, I have already. Uh, I've been testing this for about a week now, and it'll bring up all your different things you have on normal Netflix. So if you want to go through and watch anything on here, you can watch anything on Netflix. Uh, let's just go here, Car Masters will be a little bit car related. Let's go play. And we have our Car Masters playing on Netflix. So that's cool, but what you can also do, get back out of here, And you can actually download this and it will download onto your little module. So if you want to watch this at all without being on Wi-Fi, we can watch it and it'll be saved onto the module. The other things you need to look at, if you don't have to press audio, you can press car. It'll flick you back and you can go back into your normal um, things of where you want to be, source and what have you. But you can also click back into your Apple CarPlay and it brings you back into where you want to be. Uh, so all these apps you can add, or it comes factory apart from the navigator I put in, uh, but you can load in all any other map, any other apps you like for your Google Play, you just got to add it in and go for gold. Uh, that's pretty much it for this one. I'll uh, show you what it is though. All right, so yeah, so what is it? You're just asking, and how does it work? So I just dropped it. Uh, what we have is our little module here. We'll be selling these online. They just come in with a USB port. Uh, you plug these in and you plug it straight into USB. I'll show you on the, on the screen down below. Uh, but you plug these into USB and they just load up automatically. You can take it into every different car. Uh, I have tried it in a 2017 Ranger as well as a Land Cruiser. Uh, they work in both of those. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below of our website, but it'll have all different makes and models that we know it fits. Uh, but pretty much anything that has a touch screen with USB input, it'll work into. You'll have wireless CarPlay, you'll have your Google Maps, you have your Google app with all different Google bits, uh, as well as Netflix and YouTube. Uh, if you wanna add in Stan, if you wanna add in 7 Plus, all those things, anything you can get an app for and watch it, you'll be on there live. Anything you can download, i.e. onto your phone or onto a hard drive, uh, you can have that in there as well. You can also store your own music on it. Uh, if you don't want to, obviously, have a you know, Spotify or whatever, you can have this loaded in on, the, on this, and you can load it in. Uh, we've swapped into a few different cars, like I said, RAV4, Ranger, uh, Land Cruiser, Navara, uh, a couple of different things, and they all work. So if you're interested in one of these, head over to our website. I'll put the link in the description down below and be able to see it. And uh, oh, Tom's here now. We're going to plug into Tom's Prado and make sure it works on the Prado. Uh, but yeah, make sure you head into the description below and uh, make sure you stay tuned for the next episode. Uh, hit that like, hit subscribe, and we'll stay tuned for more N80 content. So Tom's just come here to steal my products that he bought without his wife knowing. Oh, yeah. He's pumping like they're actually empty containers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just going to jump into his car. We use Tom's car as a bit of a demo so I can show you how it plugs in and what it does. So we should have... I just need his key. I need your key, Tom. There you go. All right, so I've got Tom's key to his Prado. We're just jumping in. Power it. Let the car power up. You can plug it in without it, but let's power it up and see what it does. We'll steal these little USB. So in a Prado, USB ports here. In a Hilux, they're down in here. We'll let this load up. Go and continue. And same thing, obviously, this is a new Prado. So it's a 2022 model Prado. We'll just plug in our little box 
in here. Plug him in and we let it load up. All right, so that's loaded up into his Prado. Click accept and agree, and we've got the same options. So you can have wireless car play, you can have all the other apps you like in there. And watch some Netflix, what do you think? Netflix? Yeah, mate, Netflix and chill. Netflix and chill in the Prado, fold the seats down, have a great time. 100%. So while we're here today, I've got a 2017 Ranger, and we're plugged into that as well. So 2017 Ranger also works, and we'll keep testing some other cars that are in the workshop. Alright, so if you want one of these, head to our website. They're about three or four hundred dollars. I load it up so you can see. Uh, heaps cheaper than the head unit. The head unit I put in my mate's car was about fourteen hundred dollars. So save yourself a thousand bucks, get a module, plug it into any different model, you can make a model car, take it with you, and uh, move it from car to car.